There is a hurry to jump into assumptions. There would be so much of unconscious data, unconscious data, which you would gather as a coach. That connection drives the whole process of coaching. Hello everyone, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and I'm glad to see you in our Rhythma Duas NLP series. This series is for questions on NLP and new code NLP so that you can transform yourself and transform others. Keep experiencing, discovering, decoding and doing it real. And I'm sure that you are going through the other uh, Q&A's and uh, seeing them and you can also comment on our comment section about it. In today's video, let's talk about coaching and NLP. Uh, we are in Goa doing a fantastic event in January 2024 and we have had so many people who came in here for learning NLP and coaching. Uh, the intention in today's video is talking about how processes of NLP helps you to become a better coach. And rapport in NLP is all about having a very deep connection with your client using matching, mirroring, physiology, breathing, dancing with the client. I've observed in so many different forums and in coaches that there is a hurry to jump into assumptions. There is a hurry for people to get into a technique there's a hurry for the person to do certain process because they have learned fantastic however if you turn that around to take a deep breath you get into the state of only observing your client so deeply so deeply with match and mirror there would be so much of unconscious data unconscious data which you would gather as a coach when you gather that unconscious data as a coach, you build completely unconscious rapport with the client's unconscious. Means your unconscious and the client's unconscious. Builds that deep connection. That connection drives the whole process of coaching. That is the answer. There lies that deep work. And you might have tested this, that when you do not have this deep rapport with your client uh, at all levels, you might have observed that whatever you do at the end, that client's work is not happening, means the client's patterns are coming back, the client is not able to maybe come out of what he wanted to and create more choices and expand his own maps. The intention in NLP coaching is to build this kind of a dance with the client so that the client's maps, the client's complete internal circuitry, neurologically, the physiology, the biochemical reactions, everything just changes like in simple words, the client's maps expands. It can see and hear and feel the same situation which was earlier in a complete different way. The perception of that problem just changes. So that's the most important part for all the coaches who are learning NLP and coaching. The most important part in NLP and coaching is deep unconscious rapport with your clients. The more you have it and how would you have it, the more you practice it. The more you practice it, the more you would learn as a coach, the more you would have it and you would know then how to dance with your client's unconscious so that the client's unconscious expands its map. That is all for you as of now for NLP and coaching. There are many other information which we will be releasing on NLP and coaching in the coming days. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope that you'd like it. Please like, share and comment in the box. I will be happy to see you very soon in some of the workshops. Keep experiencing, discovering, decoding and doing it real applications. Lot of love to you and seeking your blessings, Rudhima Dua.